hey guys welcome back to my channel well welcome back welcome to this new channel this is a brand new channel okay we are all new here so this channel is created to make my food recipe to cook for you guys I posted a Q&A on Instagram if you guys want me to create wait one second honey if you guys want me to create um, a complete new brand new channel for my cookings and a lot of you guys say yes and I'm so happy I'm scared happy nervous at the same time but we're gonna do this okay I'm gonna try to post at least once a week on this video I'm a mom so my kids are always calling me yes honey okay so um yeah we are going to be creating, you know, cook on here. We just, just cook with me, you know, just cook with me video. And yeah, so if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, join, join the family, you know, join your sister. Let's cook together. Let's have fun together. It's really going to be fun. Trust me. And yeah, with that being said, let's cook. Okay, guys, let's get started. So I'm going to be cooking fish and assorted meat, which is like a um, different kind of meat. So I'm going to start by cleaning my fish out, you know, just clean it out, take out the guts and yeah. So the fish that I'm using is the croaker fish. I believe it's called the croaker fish. And this fish is so delicious. It's like there's no too much bones in it. Kids can eat it without problem, you know, with supervisions for sure. So I'm going to be cleaning it out, you know, using a knife to like take out the guts and making sure it's like well and clean. So now the fish is all cleaned out, I'm going to be using white vinegar to like, you know, to clean it. So I usually do this when I add a fresh water in the fish after I clean it out and I'm going to be adding some salt. It just cleans the fish better. It tastes really good and delicious when you put vinegar and salt together. Some people add lemon juice in it. You can do that if you want, but I'm just going to use white vinegar and I'm going to place it on the side, you know and after like 30 minutes after i place it on the side and the salt and the vinegar already get into it and i'm gonna drain it out and put it on the side so it can completely be drained because i'm gonna be frying it I am going to be cleaning my assorted meat that I'm going to be cooking. Yes, I'm going to be cooking this along with the fish. So I'm using cow skin, you know, uh, we call it shaki. And I'm using regular beef. I'm using goat meat. I'm using goat legs. For my season, I'm going to be using um, garlic powder, table salt, curry, thyme, and some chicken broth powder. And I use the roaster one. It's inexpensive and it tastes absolutely delicious. Of course, I'm going to be using onions and I'm going to slice the onions, really dice it in there. doesn't matter. You can cut it big too. doesn't matter. I'm going to cut it in there and I'm going to add everything that I just showed you and I'm going to cook it.
so now my meat is cooking on the stove so I'm gonna be um, frying the fish so for the fish I like to use regular vegetable oil and a little bit of palm oil it, like I just like to do that I don't know why but I like to add a little bit of palm oil in it and I let the oil fairly get you know hot not too too hot so it doesn't splash me and I'm gonna be placing my fish in there and I'm gonna fry it So my meat is still cooking it's not ready yet but i checked it so i'm gonna let it cook more so after it's cooked i'm gonna fry my meat as well some people put their meat in the oven some people fry them i honestly enjoy frying my meat it tastes so delicious and yeah so i'm gonna be frying this meat today if you want you can put it in the oven sometimes i'll put my meat in the oven but when i boil it i like to like fry them so now my fish are like almost ready and some of them are still not ready. I like to get paper towel so that I can soak all the water, you know, oh, sorry, not water. You can soak all the oil and I'm going to be putting all my fry stuff on the paper towel. So trust me, it just absorbs the oil better. this is a leftover broth from the meat so i'm gonna place that on the side i'm gonna use this to cook later so now i'm gonna be uh, making my peppers i'm using the hydrator um large peppers these are regular peppers but they are dehydrated this was sent from my mom from nigeria so all i do is just add water in it and i place it in microwave i use about nine minutes and it just becomes soft it's way cheaper than like buying peppers peppers can be really expensive i don't know where you guys are from but like where i am from in toronto peppers are like really expensive but this saves me so much money I'm gonna be using a uh, whole can tomatoes to um, blend it with the peppers that I just showed you. So I'm using the no-name crushed tomato, and I just open it in the blender, and um, I am going to be blending it with the pepper that I showed you. And I'm actually gonna be using one Cameroon peppers. Those Cameroonian peppers are really, really. I'm sure that's what it's called, like Cameroonian peppers. Maybe not. But yeah, those small peppers are really spicy. If you use two, it's like so spicy. And because I have little kids in the house, so um, I'm gonna be using just one piece of it. And yeah. Okay, so I am gonna be doing the dishes that I was using earlier. So I like to clean as I go. It just makes my life more easier by the time I finish cooking. I don't have to worry about, you know, cleaning. Just watch me break in your sweet You're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, Baby, feel free I wanna make you sweat on me I wanna make you sweat on me I got you wrapped around my finger 
So now my meats are completely fried. I'm gonna place them with the fish on the paper towel. So I am going to be saving the uh, oil that I was using to fry the meat and the fish to cook my stew. This way I don't have to waste any oil So and it's still hot and I'm just going to add my blended tomato and pepper in it. For the stew, I'm going to be adding some chicken broth powder that I showed you guys earlier and I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to add some thyme and some curry and some garlic powder. As well as ginger powder. And I'm going to be adding the broth that was left over the other time. And I'm gonna let it cook for about 10 minutes. Just watch me break in I'm going to be adding my fried meat and fish in the stew after 10 minutes and I'm going to keep it for another like 10-15 minutes to cook together and it should be ready after this. So my stew is completely cooked and this is the outcome. You can eat this with anything you want and yeah so it tastes absolutely so delicious. I'm gonna leave all the recipe in the comment section below and for this too we are gonna be eating it with rice and it tastes absolutely delicious like I said and that's pretty much everything thank you for watching if you enjoyed today's video please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I will catch you guys in my next video God bless you guys bye bye